Hello, welcome back to another video, and as you can see, it's all future time. Yes, I did say it might be the last episode, last time, but I had a, I had some ideas with Africa, and as you can see, we could kind of do a few things with Africa. So, basically, we have this alliance map that, but what about Mozambique and um, Madagascar? What are they, who are they aligned to? So basically, these guys are like, hey, you two, pick a side or we'll invade. We'll both invade you. And they're like, no. And so, I, I think I think you know what might happen. Basically, it's not looking pretty for them. That's all I'm going to say. Um. Yeah, I was like, are they included or not? Is Uganda included? Yes, they are. Um, hold on. Hold on. I I have to change the color because it's too similar to the. Er yep, too similar to the area. Er so yeah, gotta change the color real quick. Wait. Are they part of it? Oh. Wait. So, that... Malawi is... Why is it not independent on the alliance map? Okay, let's just say it's part of... Um... These guys. Here, let's... In, let's make it um, look like the alliance map. I don't feel like doing that exactly right now. I don't feel like updating the alliance map because I'm, uh, I'm a little busy today. Uh, I'm doing a lot of uploads, trying to get a lot done because I have to get a lot done for daily upload week, which is February 7th to February 11th. So be on the lookout for that. I will post a community um, post before it is done. And immediately, these guys storm the southern portions because they know they're going to get anything of Mozambique. It's going to be the south. And knowing this, these guys storm the north and basically speed as far to the coast as they can get. And so they, they get pretty far. Far. Oh, sorry about that. I have to repeat some words because I don't have the proper sound. And basically... Oh, wait. Hold on. Just got an update. Guys, new new update just dropped for maps. For my maps. Yeah, new update just dropped. Basically... These guys then storm south to try to take out as much of Mozambique as possible before they choose a side. And then these guys realize, oh wait, they haven't landed on Madagascar yet. So they land on Madagascar. And then they try and rampage as much as possible before South Africa gets here. And rampage they do. They basically take most of the western coastline. And so, when these guys land, they land and immediately get pushed out. And so that was a failure. And so these guys are then... the mo north Northern Mozambique is pushed out of and take... The coastline is taken. And South Africa is like, dang it, I took too long. And it's fine. Because they might get a few more hours later. And so they d agree on a partition of Mozambique. Th 
right here along the border. And this is the first peace treaty. And then the second one will be between these guys and Madagascar. Forcing them into the alliance, of course. And then we have Madagascar surrendering. And boom. Now, will I update the alliance map? Yes, I will. It's finally time it gets updated. So I will update that quickly. And boom, I updated the alliance map. Also, um, Kazakhstan and Russia left NATO because they were neutralized and are now neutral. Also, something I forgot to mention is uh, Switzerland said, you know what, I don't like NATO. I, I regret, I regret big of my streak of being neutral. And so they become neutral once again. And so now NATO's like, okay, maybe we should start protecting Africa. And then NATO is like, well, the U.S. says, no, Africa deserves to die. And so everybody just says, okay. And everybody agrees with that. Anyways, now we have hot tension boiling between these guys. But they demilitarize, and they're, they're right next to each other now, completely. No borders separating anymore. No neutral zones. It's a full-on cold war between them. Who would win? I don't know. You tell me. And dang it. The green arrow disappeared. What? Why did it disappear from there? You know what? I'm going to do that. And then recolor it a dark blue. Why does it... Why does it do that? Am I really going to have to redo this? Uh, we need... Boom. It's nice. And then we fix that. And then we take a magical tool. Copy and paste, and now do something called do that, boom, and boom, boom. Anyways, as I was saying, there is cold tension, boil, I mean, uh, tension. So thick you could cut it with a knife. So thick you could probably eat it and say it's a cake. So thick it makes the earth not flat. I know, that's the insult. Anyways, wh what do you th what do you think triggers it? What do you what do you think triggers all that war? So basically, wait, a South African cargo ship up here, supplying to Lagos in Nigeria. Vashed. And now, is, ah! it should be green. More like a, a dark green. So, it, you know. That's good. And so now, these guys are at all out war. And yes, I do know that color should be switched. So 
So I'm gonna switch those colors and boom. So now we have all out war. What does two plus two equal class? All out war. That is correct. And so now we have these guys just sweeping through. And the South Mozambiques beacons, I don't I don't know what their denominator de deno demonym is. De demonym? Is that how you say it? Um, I don't know. They are angry and so side with the vet team. So that's already uh thorn on their side. And so now we have more troops entering into Zimbabwe. And then some tra troops enter into Namibia and Botswana. But, wait, South Africa has ours, doesn't it? Y'all forgot. So basically, the US takes back its previous statement and says, listen, I'm gonna join this one war and then I'm gonna be done. And so when U.S. troops occupy, it's pretty much one-sided with who is winning before they arrive. But now, now, hold on, let me just get a little speck over there. I'm not saying it's being taken over yet. Now, the U.S. liberates all of these guys. Ah. Let me take that. And then they push back into there. Mm. And so, the South Mozambique is like in a state of being here and not being here because they don't want to be here, but they also. Uh, and, then, and, then, and then you have in the Beningen. So basically, the U.S. troops force them back, take a lot of Angola, and this is the second time Angola has been beaten up. Well, this would be the second time that Angola has been beaten up. And Africa does not like the U.S.'s involvement. They think it's cowardice, and it needs to be stopped. And so basically... We have something forming. So, here it is. We have an, a national trade embargo forming on the U.S. Well, yeah. And yes, landlocked countries can join this. So basically, a lot of countries, even their own allies, join this. Yeah, it's it's a pretty big embargo. Oh yeah, even Canada, north of them, joins the embargo and is like, yeah, U.S. We don't support what you're doing. What you're doing is killing the the native people of Africa, and that ain't cool. And everybody's like, yeah. And so like a lot of people are angry at the U.S. And so, like, basically, the U.S. has a lot of repercussions. Oh, and then China joins us a burger, along with Korea and Vietnam and Iran and Turkey and Romania and Bulgaria and Greece and Serbia and Kosovo and Montenegro and Bosnia and Croatia. This is one of the biggest embargoes I've seen. And basically, everybody says the, U the U.S. is dumb for doing this. And they don't care what they say. The U.S. continues to do it.
And so they push in the North Mozambique and unite with the Funks. And then push in the Madagascar, who's actually been treating, been treated well. Oh, sorry, uh, I forgot where I was. Um, something about this embargo. Anyways, um, Madagascar is like taken, and basically these guys seem like they're gonna lose until some obscure thing happens. Something I call the U.S. occupation phenomenon. Basically, when the U.S. occupies countries, it don't work. I have to be very careful along coastlines. Oh, dang it. If you're not careful along coastlines, they don't, um, it, you know, kind of just does that. And so basically, they suffer a humiliating defeat. And then... Madagascar rebels in a couple of days and the US says you know I'm gonna leave Africa and then they eventually push everybody out and then the great pushes into these African t territories again happen and then <laughs> yeah basically what you need to know is the US got kicked out again for like the 800th time in war like they've been kicked out of Afghanistan they got they almost got kicked out of Korea. Also, yes and no, that wasn't a miss scroll. Also, the Simbago disbands. I was hoping it would be the same color as this because that would be bad. No, dang it. That would be bad. And now we have more troops just pushing in. And then, like, everybody's so confused on what happened with the U.S. that did this. And so, after some research, basically, they concluded the U.S. sucks. And then, Botswana surrenders. And so, South Africa... South Africa is uh, a little confused on how that happened. And asks for all of their allies to join. But they all said no, because then I won't be better than the U.S. And they were right. They would be right. And so now, South Africa is the only team member left of this war. And I'm going to leave that off, because I love cliffhangers. I'm joking. So basically... South Africa gets pushed in, and then they push in some more, and then South Africa surrenders. And then, yeah, basically, the only thing that ever changed in this war besides alliances and puppets is this. Mozambique v. Unites. And I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Um, go watch the other episodes. And goodbye.